Hi, welcome to this short video about issues with the AMEC EQ200 from Plugin Alliance. Um, I just installed the new update 28th of May 2020. Uh, I filed uh, all my complaints and they said, well, we're working on it, it's going to be fixed. Then the update came and nothing seems to be fixed. So to make it clear, what is the issue? Because I wrote it down and maybe that was kind of unclear. Um, I make this small video so you can see what the issue is. And in the issue, uh, the biggest issue I have with the AMAC EQ200 also appears in the uh, BX Digital V3 and also the V2, but that's kind of old, so I just let that be. So what, I, what I've done is have a couple of samples that go through a stereo bus and I put all those three EQs on the stereo bus to just make my point. Okay, so play. So auto listen function is on. The moment I move the mouse, you will see that it's focused on that specific band. Awesome. Like this is really a handy uh, feature. But the moment I'm using uh, something else, like a MIDI controller, to move the knob, the EQ responds. Right? It kind of works. Maybe if we uh, just turn the volume up, you can hear it better. So that works. But the auto listen, auto listen function does not work. It completely ignores any external input. So auto listen function, great, but only mouse related. The moment you use an analog based knob, it does not work, which is kind of strange because this is an uh, EQ modeled after uh, an analog equipment. So you would expect that if you attach something to make that analog feel return, like a, a controller with knobs, that it would respond. Uh, the same issue is, of course, with uh, the V3. So here we have the UAD version. Um, right, you can even see the the graph here, which is kind of awesome. But if if I do stuff here, you hear nothing. The auto listen function does not listen. So it's kind of the auto death function to me. So this was an expensive EQ. It's from a UAD. Uh, so I got the VST3. Maybe that works. Well, you guessed it. It has exactly the same issue. Like whatever I do here, the EQ responds, but the auto listen does not respond. The moment I use the mouse, here we have it. Awesome. So let us turn down the volume. Another issue I have with the AMEC EQ200. Uh, that is, it is a master EQ. Uh, so it's awesome that you can see your balance here. You can see your correlation, like your stereo uh, channel. Awesome. Uh, also the input and the output are there. Kind of awesome. I'm kind of missing, uh, I know, a few red signals when it goes all the way in and when it's maybe it's getting too loud, right? Nothing really tells me from a distance that I have an issue, that I have some kind of a clipping signal here even though it's almost completely to uh, to zero. So I don't know, color wise, I don't know, change the, do something or make it switchable. So you can see where and whenever you're hitting uh, somewhere in the red. Uh, another issue I have with that uh, volume with VU meter is there is no peak indication. So it's impossible for me to see if peak in and peak out of my master bus is the same. I have to apply a different um, meter, maybe uh, maybe we should add uh, the BX uh, <coughs> meter just to just just for fun, right? So why not have this functionality here? At least peak. I would like to see peak information here. Because now I can see it's, uh, I can, it seems to be totally over. So let's just turn down the volume of a few uh, channels randomly. 
right? There's nothing I could see over here that tells me I had an issue. And so I need to attach a different VST. I don't, maybe you just want to sell more stuff. Uh, but to me, it's illogical. I think it's, it's kind of simple to make sure there is a peak value here displayed on both sides. So you can see if volume in and volume out is kind of the same. And also uh, a bit more coloring in the final uh, few steps. I know from minus 10 to zero, you kind of can see, okay, yeah, you, yeah probably you're clipping here, like something is wrong, man, dude, like take care of the, of the signal. Um, and this is a, an EQ that has a stereo mode and also has a, a mid-side mode. Currently it's in mid-side mode. Uh, the question is, did you saw that? No, because if you switch to stereo, like the only thing that changes are those two letters here. LR is being switched to MS and this button is turned on and off. My recommendation is if it's in mid side mode, change the colors of all your LEDs, all your fake digital LEDs, make it, I don't know, purple or green or blue, but make it clear like, okay, you're now in a different mode than in stereo. And if I'm in stereo, then low EQ makes sense, right? Mid EQ, it kind of makes sense. I know indication of left and right, I, and that would be kind of nice to do. I don't think it's just a few pixels, right? That's doable. But the issue is if I turn to mid side, the labels don't change. It doesn't say to me like this is mid low and this is mid high. This is side low and this is side high. It's kind of the only indication is over here. I don't think that's really user friendly. Uh, and then my final complaint is the high pass filter, which is here. Let's say I want to set the high pass to 24. I, I, I'm trying to do that with a mouse, but to me, I'm, I'm, I'm spending now seconds just to put it on 24. Um, luckily, uh, we could fix that because we are using a program called Bitwig and in Bitwig uh, we can assign knobs. So I can say this knob here, that's uh, that one. So now I assign this, right? So let's close that again. Yeah, I'll save that. So now I have this knob that does exactly the same. The only difference is if I press shift it goes to a slow motion mode. So it's, it's, it's more precise. I would expect that that also works here, that if I kind of use shift, it kind of is slower. It's easier to maintain, but it's not. So either fix that. I mean, they put it over here, right? So you can switch the bands from uh, 15 to 7 dB, right? So, so this is, this is way more precise than if you have a, like a full blown version. And it's kind of easy. It's kind of difficult here to get it, get it, get it to one DB. It, it takes a while to do that. And if you switch it, it's way, way easier to do a precise EQ and it's a master EQ. So I would expect that precision is really important for this EQ. So those are my recommendations of stuff. I hope plugin lines uh, will be able to fix in the next update. Um, so yeah, that's it. I hope this was useful anyway. Thanks. Bye.